Fiddler's Capo is four musicians who like to play in preferred keys, which on violin are traditionally A, D, and G, but be able to transpose easily to other keys, which are more difficult or uncomfortable. This capo system reduces the vibrating string length and can raise normal tuning up to three semitones, giving the fiddler a lot more options to play comfortably in awkward keys such as B-flat, F, or even C and E. Here's how it works. You will need the capo and the tension hook. With your violin tuned to G, D, A, and E, position the capo about one inch below the nut. With your thumb centered on the capo, hold down and then hook the silicone ring from behind and pull over the two metal tension bars. Then slowly remove the hook. The capo can now slide for easy tuning. Using the D string, tune to E flat either by ear or with an electronic tuner. All strings are now raised by one semitone, so if you're fingering in the key of A, D, or G, you're playing in B flat, E flat, or A flat. At the second level, tune the D string to E, and by fingering in A, D, or G, you are playing in B, E, or A. And at the third level, with the D string tuned to F, you are playing in C, F, or B flat. The capo can be slid up and rested over the nut in home position where you are back to normal tuning. To remove, simply reverse the installation process. The Fiddler's capo requires exact tension and exact curvature. It has been developed by Canadian musician Peter Stoney, who also invented the fiddle fretter, which is very popular worldwide. If you use a fiddle fretter or have a fretted violin, the capo can simply be positioned behind the first, second, or third frets, and you are automatically in raised tuning. This device is not for concert violinists or advanced fiddlers such as Natalie McMaster. Most of us fall into the beginner to average category, and we need all the help we can get to play with confidence on this difficult instrument. The Fiddler's Capo, patent pending 2015.